Uh, the Big Ten being in favor of college football expand or playoff expansion. Now, eh, okay. Like, I think that we all knew that everybody, for the most part, wanted college football playoff expansion. And Kevin Warren coming out and saying, I'm 100% supportive of college football playoff expansion kind of cracks me up, considering the Alliance were the ones that did not want expand or did not vote for expansion. Right when all of this stuff got done with Greg Sankey and Bob Bowlesby and Craig Thompson, etc., they oh Jack Schwarbrick from Notre Dame, they had a plan, and we have discussed this ad nauseum on this show. But their plan was for all of these teams to go into a pot, and the six highest ranked conference champions would get those automatic qualifying bids. And then you've got six at-large bids. And everybody voted against it when Texas and Oklahoma announced, or not announced, but when it was reported that they were joining the SEC. When everybody freaked out about the initial conference realignment, that's when everybody should have immediately jumped in and said, yeah, we need to grab hold of these AQ bids. And the Big 12 did. They voted in favor of it. But because it had to be unanimous, the alliance, which was the Big 10, the Pac-12, and the ACC, They all voted against it, saying that there were other things that needed to be worked on before we moved into conference playoff or uh, college football playoff expansion, and that they needed to focus on this first. Now, the deal is up after 2025. This immediately lets me know that this was not for the betterment of college football. Them voting against college football playoff expansion was simply because the Big Ten was in Fox's pocket the whole time, and they wanted Fox, or Fox wanted Fox, to have a quicker shot at getting the playoff. Because ESPN had the exclusive negotiating rights to the college football playoff at the time that that vote was held, and it would have extended the contract. Now, we did discuss at some point that the contract, you could have already expanded it starting in 2023 or 2024 or whatever, and then maybe taking it back to market after that. But ESPN would have started with it and then would have probably liked another couple of years at least tagged onto it so that you could continue with ESPN as the lone college football playoff broadcaster. They would have paid handsomely for all of those games because they were the exclusive negotiating partner. They had the rights at that point. To help the sport of college football, I believe, that would have been better. That would have been better overall to go ahead and get the playoffs set up in that fashion because we've seen in this sport, once you give something, it rarely ever goes away. So once you set a precedent of we're going to have a 12-team playoff and the top six conference champions get in, that would have made more sense. But instead, the Pac-12 and the ACC and even the Big Ten were all discussing a uh, an automatic quality, the autonomous five They wanted the autonomous five to each have a playoff representative. And now I don't know that you were going to get that. While Kevin Warren did say he's 100% supportive of college football, uh, Kevin Warren did say he feels strongly that the college football playoffs should have multiple media partners when it expands. It's Fox. It's all Fox. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So, yeah, it's, it's irritating to see it because this was all done with TV networks involved and in mind but it's not necessarily better for the sport of college football overall. That is the most frustrating part of this, is you knew that that's not why they were voting against playoff expansion. It was not because it was something that needed to be fixed in college football before we moved to that. All it became part of was exactly what Kevin Warren said. He feels strongly that the CFP should have multiple media partners when it expands. That's it. That's the whole shebang. That lets you know, and I I will tell you, I have never seen a conference so completely wrapped up inside of a television network. Like, I understand that Fox is giving them a lot of money. I I get that. But it's, it's never been solely about the one TV partner. Even with the SEC, they made moves that were making sense logistically, geographically, et cetera. With the Big Ten, this is all just Fox moves. 
And that's what that's what's weird about this. And yeah, it's it's showing us what the future of college football will be. Uh, it's one television network against another, over and over and over again. We are going to see ESPN versus Fox routinely after this. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.